Hey everyone, this is going to show you how to extend your apps into Gmail. This functionality is an extension of creating a, an email bot for your application. When you're establishing your bot, you'll also you'll notice that you have this option to use dynamic email when setting up your email tasks for your bot. At a high level, this functionality allows you to take any detail view or form view and have those show and be interacted with in the email itself. So for this example, I'm going to go ahead and create a new bot that sends an email when a new task is assigned. Now that I have this email tasks automatically set up for me by AppSheet, I'm going to scroll down to use dynamic email and click the drop down list. And you'll see I have multiple options that reflect either some kind of detail view or form view that I can select to appear in the email. So instead of selecting just a generic detail view that was created, I'm going to go ahead and make one specifically for this use case. I'm going to call this app sheet in Gmail. And that's going to be associated with my task table. And we will make this a detail view. I'm going to select the columns down below that I want the user to see in the email itself. So we'll include things like the task name, description, notes, start date, end date, and status. And then for quick edit, I'm going to add the fields I want the user to be able to change directly in the email itself. So we'll make things like notes and the status changeable by the user. So in this detail view that I made for my email task, you'll see that I've also, in addition to showing enum selectable for the user in this view, where they can choose between not started, started, and complete, and add notes. I'm also including an action here to mark the task as complete as well, to show you that you also have the ability to have actions inside of your Gmail. So now that I've created this view, I can go back to my bot and under the use dynamic email option, I will select that view I made called app sheet in Gmail and place, I'm going to place my email as the email address that will be sent. So now my app, I'm going to go ahead and create a new task. Once I have that task filled out, I'll hit save. So once the app syncs, then there will be an email in the box. So in Gmail, we'll see that there was a new email that came in about my task that was created. When I click on that email, Gmail is going to load the detail view inside of the email app, Gmail application itself. And we'll see the same type of options that were available in the AppSheet app too. So I have the option to click an action button here at the top to mark an item as complete. I can come down here and add notes. And when those are updated, it will save directly back to the app. So when I view and resync my application, you'll see that my status has changed and I have those notes directly in my app and ultimately the backend data source that that app is connected to. With that, thanks for watching. Please leave any questions in the comments below and have a good one.